Hello, my name is Dr. Jack Babinchok, and I am an associate professor in the School of Professional Studies here at Central Penn College. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our MPS program, or our Masters of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. A lot of times when students come into the school, they have questions. They're not quite as familiar with the MPS program as they are with some other graduate degrees. So I'm here to try to uh, clarify that a little bit uh, for potential students coming into our school. Um, to do that, though, let me first talk a little bit about some of the more traditional graduate programs. For example, the MBA, or Masters of Business Administration. So most of you are familiar with that degree. And, and the way that is set up in most schools, it's just an extension of an undergraduate degree. So you're looking at the same classes that you had as an undergraduate, for example, finance, accounting, marketing, operations, management. but uh, you're being exposed to more advanced material, and you're taking that material and applying it to specific situations. The schools hope that you have some experience that you're coming in, so you could have some context for what it is that you're learning. And it is a very good degree, and it's a very well-known degree. However, there are some drawbacks to, to the MBA. For one, it really is an extension of what you're getting as an undergraduate. So you're being exposed to the same courses, the same type of material. Some of it may be new, some of it you may be able to contextualize, but you're kind of getting, you're kind of getting a rehash of what you had as an undergraduate. Um, and if it's not job specific to you, then the courses may not be as relevant to you in your current job position. For example, if you're in finance and you're taking marketing classes, you may not need that specific knowledge to advance in your career. Another knock on MBAs is that a lot of those courses are taught in silos. And this is important because you may take a marketing class or a finance class, and it's not being taught in conjunction or in connection with those other classes. And you know that in the business world, you are in constant communication and interactions with other functional areas of the organization. So teaching those classes in silos is not really reflective of the real world. So that being said, what is, what is a Master's of Professional Studies? Um, that is a more applied interdisciplinary um, degree. Um, a, a recent article in Georgetown uh, stated that most of the, degree, the degrees being granted um, for, for now over the next 10 years um, are going to be graduate degrees, some 30% of those being, being granted. Uh, and a large majority of those are going to be MPS or Masters of Professional Studies degrees. So, so why is that important? Why is that a growing degree or a growing trend? Well, first of all, those degrees are interdisciplinary, meaning that you are going to be exposed um, to um, different areas, different disciplines as you're going through your program, and they're all going to be working in conjunction um, with one another. So our, our degree program here, our MPS, is, an, is a Master's of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you the skills um, necessary to be a leader within your organization, regardless of the organization that you're in. And we're going to do it in a way where the different disciplines interact with each other to make you a more holistic student. So for example, again, ours, our NPS is in organizational leadership. What are some of the skills that a leader is going to need? Again, regardless of the, of the industry or business they're in. Well, first of all, they're going to need cognitive skills, critical thinking skills. And that's something we focus on a lot in our organization. We are having you identify what the issue at hand is, find the relevant information to solve the problem, evaluate alternatives, and then propose solutions. That is developing your critical thinking skills as a, as a leader. Uh, the second thing we work on is interpersonal skills, and we have a lot of classes geared towards communication. As an undergraduate or even in a, in a more traditional graduate program, you may not have those skills being developed or being developed in a way that really highlights the dynamic, um, the dynamic forces at play in business today. So you are being exposed to um, communication across um, across ethnic lines, diversity, um, global global communications. We're, we look at virtual communications because a lot of work is being done online now. Uh, we cover crisis communication, how to communicate uh, when something bad happens, and and the proper way to do that. We also look at business skills, but not in the way a traditional uh, graduate program or an MBA would do. Um, we look at things like, or we try to enhance things like mindfulness. Um, being innovative, uh, optimism, and resilience. We really focus on those things and try to bring out those quality and characteristics and develop those 
um, in our students. So those are some of the differences between a traditional graduate program and a Master's of Professional Studies that we offer here at, at Central Penn College. So if you're interested in the Master's of Professional Studies program here at Central Penn College, you can go to centralpenn.edu slash MPS and somebody would be glad to uh, either guide you through the process of admissions or answer any other questions that you may have regarding the program.